Hi everyone, I'm Kayla. I'm a junior in high school and today I'm near my local college campus to meet my friend Jessie. Jessie just finished her freshman year and I'm going to help her move out of the dorms and into off-campus housing. Along the way, we'll discuss fire safety and hopefully meet some of the interesting people that attend school here. Oh look, there she is now, Jessie. Hey Kayla. Let me give you a hand. Oh, thanks. It's been a great year here, that's for sure. So much to do and see and so many different kinds of people to meet. Well, I'm super excited, though I have to admit I am a little nervous. I'm not sure how I'll fit in. What if I don't make any new friends? Don't even worry about it, you'll be fine. I'll introduce you to some of my roommates later. Ready? Okay, let's do it. I'm Kayla. And I'm Jessie. And we're, we're members, members of the Heat, heat Team. team. <laughs> <laughs> the HEAT program educates people of all ages on the dangers of fire, teaching them to take a personal responsibility for themselves, their families, their homes, and their surroundings. The HEAT team, helping you make good decisions about fire safety. Yeah, come on in. I think we should start right here. Yesterday, my roommates made sure that there were working smoke alarms in each room on every level and carbon monoxide alarms on each level too. They made sure they were less than 10 years old and hardwired with a battery backup. According to our data, 100% of smoke in carbon monoxide alarms will alert immediately on detection of gases. No worries. We've got this. Those friends of yours sound pretty smart, Jesse. They sure are. Say, are you hungry? Yeah? Let's find something to eat. Did you know that 85% of university housing fires occur while cooking? Really? That's just crazy. Is it their first time using a toaster or what? <laughs> Most people are just distracted and paying attention elsewhere. But cooking is not the time to be multitasking. Focus on the work at hand, and if you have to leave the kitchen, turn off the heat. I mean, have you ever really looked at oil? Rippy, man. Hey, is that cardboard gluten free? No worries, man. We got this. <laughs> um, okay, Jesse. So, what should we do if something catches fire in the kitchen? If it's in the microwave or oven, leave the door closed, shut it off, and pull the plug. If it's a grease fire, quickly slide a lid onto it and turn off the heat. Don't move things when they're hot. Leave them right where they are and stay vigilant until they cool down. That makes sense. Now, Kayla, what do you think we should look for when grilling? Well, let's see. Of course you need to grill outside, and it's probably a good idea to make sure the grill has plenty of space away from buildings, balconies, trees, dry grass, or anything like that, right? Exactly, you've got it. Most of this is just common sense. Yep, oven is off. Let's let these cool down. I know another big problem we run into is electrical overloading. I like how organized your chargers and cords are. Did you do this? No, my roommates fixed that up. The only way to improve the safety quotient of the power strip is to wrap the degonculator in a plasma-cooled ion reducer. No, no worries. worries. We've, We've got, got this. this. That's pretty high tech. Good job. Okay, it's getting a little chilly in here. What can you tell me about space heaters? I won't even own a space heater. Too many opportunities for trouble. Things fall on them, people forget to turn them off. Yeah, it's just not worth it. I have a better solution. <laughs> hey, 
And in the winter, I can just throw on a sweater and a cap if I need to. I love those slippers. <laughs> and they're much safer than a space eater. Mm -hmm. This is great. Now, is there anything else that we should watch out for? Unfortunately, one of the leading causes of fire at college is not completely accidental. Practical jokes and pranks may seem fun at the time, but can quickly turn deadly serious. That's crazy. There are enough problems that can happen without stupid jokes hurting someone. You would think so, right? Many of us are away from home for the first time, living as adults, making our own decisions, and sometimes we make the wrong decisions. I suppose that's true. And what about parties? What should we look out for there? Most people understand the importance of moderation and party legally and responsibly, but there's always somebody, right? Sadly, in over 25% of fire fatalities, alcohol is a factor. Holy cow, 10 seconds left! No worries, we got, got this! this. First, if I'm gonna have people over who choose to smoke, they need to do it outside. I send them out with a self-extinguishing ashtray. That way we're fire safe and we have clean air in the house. I get it. And second? During and after parties, I make sure to check that all appliances are turned off. I check all the rooms and the garage, especially the garbage cans. Once everything is secure, I can sleep safe and sound. Planning for success. Nice. Is there anything else we haven't covered? Oh yeah, one more thing, and this is important. Candles and incense. Has anyone seen my phone? I haven't seen it in three days. I could open the blinds. It's rather light outside. Shh. No worries. We got this. Kayla. Kayla, over here. Kayla. <laughs> Sorry, Jesse. I was just thinking of something. It's okay, but this is really important. Any kind of open flame is very dangerous. Candles for lighting, scented candles, incense, there are much smarter options available. Electric candles are a million times safer, and a jar of potpourri works just as well. You're <laughs> so cool. This is great. I've learned so much today, and I hope our viewers have as well. Like I said, most of this fire safety stuff is just common sense. Oh, hey, my roommates are here. <laughs> Let's go out and meet them. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. I want you to meet my friend Kayla. What's oh, up? Hi. Nice to meet you. Do you guys need a hand with these boxes? Oh, these oh awesome. that would be <laughs> incredible. Got it. So Kayla, does college life look like you imagined it would? Um, honestly, not at all. But I can tell you that I learned a lot today. Things aren't always how you picture them, so it's up to us to always pay close attention and take care of ourselves and our surroundings. No worries, we, we got, got this. <laughs> Before we do things, we need to plan a safe way to get them done. Be in control of your surroundings. You can prevent fires and burn injuries. For more fire and life safety information, visit our website and look us up on Facebook.